a child born in a country where the odds are poor. One in five children born in Afghanistan dies by the age of five. And the statistics for mothers aren't good either. Every 30 minutes, a woman dies in Afghanistan from causes related to pregnancy and childbirth. That's because most Afghan women give birth at home, far from places like Malalai, Kabul's biggest maternity hospital. The babies in this ward were either born by cesarean section or are premature. This little boy was born about an hour ago. His twin sister didn't survive, and the doctors say his future isn't assured either. Still, he's one of the lucky ones, one of the few Afghan babies to be born in a hospital. The 25% of mothers who do have health care have to overcome considerable obstacles just to get access to it, including cultural barriers that dictate women should stay at home, harsh terrain, long distances, security problems, and the cost of transportation. Nearly a third of Afghanistan's health care facilities don't have any female health staff at all. But there is some progress. Hundreds of millions of dollars in aid over the past few years have helped raise the number of midwives in the country from 400 in 2002 to about 3,000 now. And 15 percent of Afghan women are now using contraceptives, three times as many as before. We know that the best way to spend money and to have aid pro programs is to have them really owned by the community. And that takes time. And often it's not large amounts of money that make the difference. Studies from other countries show that increased access to education for girls and embracing women's rights also improve the health of mothers and their children. Poverty remains one of Afghanistan's biggest problems. Economic empowerment, economic opportunities for women are key to reduce maternal mortality. It's not only about access to health care. It's more than that. It's women's empowerment. Back at the hospital, Zara has a healthy new daughter, Shabnam, because doctors in her hometown spotted complications and sent her here. She says she's received the kind of care she hopes all Afghan women will someday have. Jennifer Glass, Al Jazeera, Kabul.